This is the third in the series of sustainability, and it's called His Right Hand. Psalm 18 says, your right hand sustains me. So let's look at the context around that verse. We read that the Lord is, keeps our lamp burning. He turns darkness to light. With his help, we can advance a troop and scale a wall. His ways are perfect. His word is flawless, and he shields all those who take refuge in him. Who is God besides the Lord? Who is the rock except our God? God arms me with strength and keeps me secure, making my feet like a deer. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. His saving help is our shield. And there it is, his right hand sustains us. So we're talking about sustainability, offering the next generation resources that will keep them forever. And here we read about his right hand. There are 137 references to my right hand in the Bible, and that's a lot. Fathers extended their right hand in the Old Testament to bless their sons. The right hand was offered as an extension of blessing and power. When God's right arm is said to be extended, enemies fall and are defeated. And another Psalm says, God is on our right hand and we will not be shaken. And we read that there are eternal pleasures at his right hand. But did you know that rather than the right hand being a directional hand, right as opposed to left, this is more a a reference to right as opposed to wrong. God has a right hand that is just, merciful, full of power, and does what is right. Isn't that cool? God's right hand holds us. It's a hand that only does what is right and good. That's a sustaining thought. When those that accuse us stand at his right hand, they are dealt with justly and sent packing. Psalm 109 says he stands at the right hand of the needy on the side of what's right and not wrong to save their lives from those that would condemn them. And here's a great verse on sustainability from Isaiah 48. My own hand laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they all stand up together. That's from the Lord. There is so much to read about God's right hand, so much to grab hold of, pun intended when we realize how right his hand really is. This sustains us. It's when we lose sight of this right hand, the one that executes only justice and power and victory that we fall in our walk with him. There's a lot of passion behind those that promote sustainability so much that some take extreme measures to not waste a thing and leave no footprint because they don't want to deplete our resources. They live radical lifestyles and live differently than the norm. And meanwhile, in their opinion, the earth has a limited time to survive. Spiritually speaking, we must also have a passion about sustainability of this amazing right hand of God. If we don't, our kids will flounder in their faith, and so will we. Do we acknowledge and run to this right hand that's flawless and believe his word is unfailing? Are we sure God's right hand is for us and not against us? and that he sustains us and defeats all of our enemies. It's surely something to think about as we walk with our kids and offer our own right hands, not on the right side of our body, but our right hands that offer protection and sustenance these, to these little ones entrusted into our care. Do they see our right hand as one that brings us and draws us in close and then transfers their little hands into the hands of the Father straight away? Often churches have baby dedications or baptisms. Sprinkles or blessings, prayers and hope are offered for the kiddos. But so is stern instruction to the parents to train these kids to know the one who sustains them. To not only be the right hand for the kids, but to be an example of a mom and dad that recognize and know the right hand of the father. The one who summons and sustains the night and morning sky and the one who keeps us standing when the earth crumbles beneath our feet feet, his right hand, the giver, the sustainer of life.